As with anything related to technology, you may reach a point where you require additional assistance from a support engineer to help you solve a problem or answer a question. So let's consider the following scenario. You have a technical issue with one of your Nintex products and you have already searched the Nintex community site to see if there are any knowledge articles available that may be able to quickly help you solve your issue. You have also posted a question out on the Nintex community forum to see if another member of the community has experienced a similar issue. At this point in time, you have not found anything that can help, so you decide you need to open a support case with a Nintex support engineer. Remember, you can always create a case quickly by clicking on the Create Case button from the Nintex Customer Central dashboard. So let's do that here. Then we can go down to the Cases area and look around to see how to manage the cases for your organization. Upon clicking Create Case, the new case form will appear. Now remember, it is helpful that you provide as much information as you can up front. This will give the support engineer assigned to your case a good context to start with and quickly find the information you need or help you solve your problem more quickly. A summarized description, error, or warning message up to 80 characters can go into the subject line. Also of note, text that you enter into the subject line is used to do a quick search of knowledge base articles or documentation titles that may be able to help you solve your problem from here. If you see something of interest in this list, click on it to open the document. It may mean the difference of not having to create a support case and solving the issue right away. Next, be sure to select the correct platform as it relates to where your problem or inquiry lives. This goes for product selection as well. Selecting these correctly will route your cases to the proper support group much faster. Also, be sure to select the proper severity level here. For example, if you have a complete outage affecting your business in a major way where employees cannot get work done, then critical is probably the best choice. If you just have a question about where to find some product information or locate a configuration setting, well, then inquiry may be the best choice for that. Fill out the description box with as much detail as possible. Be sure to provide the type of environment you're having issues with, like production or development perhaps. Also, if it is an on-premises platform, for example, you should include the version or build number you have installed. I'll add some information here as an example. Note, you can also include other individuals in the CC line here by entering email addresses separated by a semicolon. This will help keep them informed of the case as well. At the bottom, we also provide a way for you to attach images like screenshots of application behavior, log files, and zip files, which could contain product files requested by a support engineer. I'll go ahead and attach a screenshot here to demonstrate. Then I'll submit the case. Once the case is created, you will be taken to a confirmation page showing your case number and all the information you just entered. Now that we have created a case, let's go into the cases area and look at how to manage the cases for our organization by selecting that from the left side menu. When you first enter the cases area, you will basically see a dashboard showing the counts of active cases, cases that require additional information, cases that have solutions provided, and also escalated cases. Down lower, you will notice a list of all cases that exist for your organization. This list can be filtered by clicking on the active box or any of the other boxes shown here across the top. You can also clear this filter by clicking the clear filter button. Notice as well, there are additional filtering options just above the list. The drop down list here gives you a few more options, including weeding the list out to only show open cases you have entered by selecting My Open Cases. The date range is also helpful if you only want to see items within, say, the last week or month. If you remember the subject line of a case, you can enter partial search text in this box and zero in on a case that way as well. The list shows case number, which is clickable to open the case the subject that was entered, current status, date it was submitted, and for closed cases, you will see the feedback button. 
This allows you to provide our support team with feedback on your experience if feedback has not been provided yet. Otherwise, you will see the feedback star rating. Your overall feedback scores will be represented in the average satisfaction box shown here above. Now, if you happen to be your organization's administrator, the average satisfaction rating is going to represent your entire organization's cases. Clicking the feedback button takes you to a form that allows you to provide your thoughts as desired. We appreciate your point of view, so be sure to take advantage of this when you can. Notice the ellipses button over here on the right. You can click on this for a case to escalate this case if we need to push it along. We can also close it from here if we want to. I do have one case waiting on me here to add additional information. To manage this case, let's click on its case number. Here we can review the messages area to see what our support engineer is asking us to do. Then respond with a message in the box, making note to CC another person, as well as attach files if necessary. Clicking send will route this case back to the engineer to continue on. Notice as well, up at the top, there is a button to escalate this case if we need to push it along. We can also close it from here. I won't do anything with this case right now. So moving back to the cases page, the last thing I'll make note of is you can also use the create case button on the case page to create a new case. Users with case permissions for your organization will be able to create new cases with Nintex support. With that, you should now be able to jump in and start managing support cases for your organization using Nintex Customer Central.